anything else, we would like to give credits to the management team of the module, particularly to the Department of Education, headed, of course, by the Secretary, Madame Lenore Magtolis Briones, also to the Undersecretary, Sir Jasdado M. San Antonio, to the authors, Ma'am Nancy C. N. Torres, Ma'am Judy C. Villanueva, Ma'am Jamaica B. Barsenal, and Sir Julimar D. Lestimoso, to the editor, reviewers, illustrators, layout artist, graphic artist, management team, thank you so much for making this module so that everybody, every learners in the entire Philippines can learn the subject. We are through discussing about how to separate mixture through filtering and sieving. Now, we are going to focus on separating mixtures through evaporation. So after going through this module, you are expected to be able to identify mixtures that can be separated through evaporation. Identify the process of separating mixtures which uses evaporation technique and you have to apply the evaporation technique in everyday life. So this module is solely for the evaporation process in separating mixtures. But before that, I itch check ko din muna kung meron kayong natutunan about what is evaporation sa mga previous years sa pag-aaral ninyo. So you have to write the letter of the correct answer. Number one, what method is used to obtain salt from seawater? A. Decantation B. Sedimentation C. Evaporation D. Filtering Number two, which of the following examples undergo evaporation process? Alin daw sa mga process na sumusunod ang nag-undergo ng evaporation na proseso? A. A pail of water under the heat of the sun. B. Brushing your teeth after meal. C. Ironing of clothes every weekend. Letter D. Listening to the radio. Number 3. It is the main factor that causes evaporation process in separating mixtures. Ano yung pinaka-factor na naging dahilan ng evaporation? A. Water B. Heat C. Smoke D. Light Number 4. Princess accidentally spill a glass of water in the salt container and she is thinking with a solution in how she's going to recover salt from water. What will Princess do to return the salt to its original face? A. She will wrap it with newspaper tightly. B. She will throw it away in the waste can. C. She will hide it in a dark corner. Letter D. She will boil the solution. Number 5. While boiling water in a kettle, Gwen noticed that there are smoke coming from the spout of a kettle. He asked his mother, Why did the smoke rise upward? What do you think will be the mother's answer? A. Because the water reached its cooling point. B. Because the water reached its boiling point. C. Because the water is heated and became water before. D. Because the water is freezing. Ngayon, isulat nyo ang titik E if the following conditions undergo the evaporation technique of separating mixtures and N if not. So kung sa tingin nyo ay dumaan siya sa evaporation, isulat nyo ang E. Kung sa tingin nyo ay hindi naman siya dumaan sa evaporation technique, letter N naman ang isulat ninyo. Number 6. Water in the canal becomes less after the rain. 7. Doormat on the floor. Number eight, wet hair becomes dry. Number nine, chair on the ground. And number ten, cooling after sweating. Now let us tackle about separating mixtures through evaporation. So one of the main ingredients in cooking food is salt. So halos lahat ng niluluto natin ay gumagamit tayo ng asin. Salt serves as important element in our planet because of its many uses. So dahil dyan, ang asin ay isa sa pinaka-importanting element sa ating planeta dahil sa dami ng pwede natin gamitan dito. We often see the crystal white color that adds savor to our everyday meal. The salt is also used as component of other products sold in the market. But, have you ever wondered how salt is made? Alam ba natin kung ano, paano gawin yung salt? 
In this module, we are going to learn about evaporation process and its examples. So, sa module na ito, ay pag-aaralan natin ngayon ano ba ang proseso ng evaporation at ano yung iba't ibang example ng evaporation. I'll be testing again your ability. You have to identify the technique of separating mixtures. Write F for filtering. Write S for sieving. And use a separate sheet of paper. Number one, powder milk with small stone. Two, sand from stone. Three, alcohol from coins. Four, grind rice from buttons. Five, grind coffee from hot water. So, tandaan ninyo, ano ba yung filtering at ano yung sieving. On the other hand, heat or ang init ay isa din sa importanteng component sa ating environment dahil nagagawa niyang mabuhay at maggrow abundantly ang mga things. Just like the plants. The presence of the sun's heat serves as the main source of energy in our planet as it brings many uses to the biotic known as living things and abiotic or non-living things components of our surroundings. So dahil sa init, napakarami niyang gigagawa sa atin at siya yung main source of energy sa ating planeta. As heat is used by animals and plants as the main source of energy, it is also useful in so many things in the process of evaporation as one of the techniques in separating mixtures. Hindi lang sa pag-grow abundantly at maging source ng energy ang heat, nagagamit din natin ang heat bilang napaka-importanteng bagay para sa process ng evaporation para ma-separate natin yung mixtures. Now, what is evaporation? So, evaporation ay isang process of separating mixtures which involves heating the solution until the solvent evaporates, leaving behind the solid residue. Okay, pag sinabi natin evaporation ay separate natin ang mga mixtures sa pamamagitan ng pag-init ng solution hanggang sa yung solvent o yung tumunaw ay nag-evaporate or nawala at naiiwan yung solid residue. Heat being the main component in this process separates the mixtures of solid from a liquid. As liquid goes in the air in a form of gas when heated, changing liquid to gas as an example of physical change. Now, some examples of evaporation are, ito na yung mga samples ng evaporation. Now, na-separate natin yung mga mixtures. Number one, boiling water. Number two, drying clothes. Number three, drying of wet roads after heavy rains. Itong tatlong ito ay isas at tatlo sa pinakamaraming examples on how we are going to separate mixtures through evaporation. Now, from the short information na nabasa at natalakay natin, you have to answer the questions. Use a separate sheet of paper in answering. Number one, what is evaporation? O ano daw yung evaporation? Number two, what is needed to achieve evaporation process? Ano yung mga kailangan para ma-achieve natin yung evaporation process? Number three, give three examples of situation where evaporation process was observed. Number four, what kind of material was left behind when mixture was heated? Ano yung naiwan? Number five, what kind of change is involved in evaporation process? Anong kind of change ang nangyayari pag meron tayong tinatawag na evaporation process? What's more, you have to read the conditions stated in the box. Pick out those that undergo evaporation process. Okay, may mga condition na nakasulat dyan sa box. Ang gagawin nyo lang ay hanapin nyo dyan at isulat sa papel kung sino lang ang nag-undergo or nag-evaporation process. Burning paper, cooking noodles, writing, drying of sand after the rain. Drying of wet floor, drying of plate after washing, cooking rice, coloring a book, cooling after sweeting, 
boiling mango seeds, watching TV, and salt making. Now, I will be checking if natutunan nyo ba talaga yung evaporation process na ating natalakay. You have to complete the following ideas. I learned that evaporation is a process of separating mixtures which involves blank until the solvent blank leaving behind the blank. For you to know the answer, go back to your module, basahin nyo ulit kung what is evaporation at makukuha nyo ang sagot. Now, you will be doing this. In a grade 6 science class, a group of pupils would like to separate salt from water. What method will they use to separate the mixture? Explain your answer. Okay, sa grade 6 class daw, gusto nilang gumawa ng experiment na gusto nilang separate, ihiwalay yung salt mula sa tubig. Anong method ang kanilang gagamitin? Explain nyo ang sagot. Number 2, may nakikita kayong illustration below. Explain a few sentences the technique of separating mixtures and give the benefit of separating it. So may nakita kayong picture dyan, explain nyo sa mga sentences kung ano yung technique na ginamit para ma-separate yung mixtures. Now, I will be assessing your learning. You have to choose the letter of the correct answer. Number one, Lester had noticed that the amount of water in the container with a plant becomes less as the days goes by. What do you think is the reason of decreasing amount of water in a container? So napansin ni Lester na habang tumatagal, paubos ng paubos ang water sa kanyang plant sa container. Ano daw kaya ang rason kung bakit nawawala o nauubos na padahan-dahan ang tubig? A. Some insects sipped the water. B. Water in the container was not changed. Letter C, water evaporated because of heat. Letter D, the plant has a stem. Number two, which of these examples show evaporation process as technique of separating mixtures? A, drying of water on the table. B, flooding of water in the river. C, cooling of water in the refrigerator. D. Freezing of water in the ocean. Number three, what technique will Jocelyn use if she wants to separate salt mixed with water in a container? A. Filtering. B. Evaporation. C. Peaking. D. Sedimentation. Number four, in evaporation process, liquid becomes blank when heated. A. Solid. B. Ice cubes. C. Plasma. D. Vapor. Number 5. It is a process of separating mixtures which involves heating, leaving the solid residue in a container. A. Evaporation. B. Precipitation. C. Distillation. D. Sedimentation. For numbers 6 to 10, you have to put a check, lagyan nyo ng check, kung ang technique ay gumagamit ng evaporation at X naman kung ang technique ay hindi gumagamit ng evaporation. Number 6, water cycle. Number 7, using cell phone. Number 8, pulling a chair. Number 9, drying of hair using hair dryer. 10, boiling kamote. Now, for your additional activities for you to learn more about the evaporation process, in your daily activities at home, think of five chores where evaporation technique is involved in accomplishing your activity. So, mag-isip ka daw ng limang trabaho or ginagawa mo sa bahay na merong nangyayaring evaporation technique. Explain your answer using complete sentences. So, ipaliwanag yung mga sagot nyo sa pamamagitan ng paggawa ng mga pangungusap. Pwede din kayong mag-draw ng picture in explaining your answer. This is very exciting activity. Thank you so much. Natapos na ang ating module 2, lesson number 2, uh, separating mixtures uh, through evaporation process. So, abang-abang tayo sa ating lesson 3 dahil pag-uusapan natin ang iba pang mga pamamaraan. This is Sir Alan Madino. Thank you so much for listening, Grade 6. I hope na may natutunan kayo. God bless you all!